Frame Analysis, Video 5, Loads Part 2. We shall now specify the loads included in each basic load case. We begin with the basic load case dead load frame that is now active, and we choose the tool self weight. We make a box around the entire frame and the self weight loads will be applied. The next basic load case is dead load. Here we should specify the other self weight that affects the frame from other parts of the building. We will define uniform loads and will choose the tool Uniform Load to apply them. We want a uniform load of 15 kN per meter on members 9 and 10 and 3 kN per meter on members 3 and 6. Further, we want a point load with intensity 50 kN acting 7 meter from the left end on member 9. The basic load case unit in post load contains uniform loads with intensity 5 kN per meter on members 9 and 10 and also a point load with intensity 25 kN acting 3 meter from the left end on member 9. The basic load case snow con contains a trapezoidal load where the intensity varies from 2 to 4 kN per meter on member 3 and 6. The basic load case wind contains a uniform load in the x direction with intensity 2 kN per meter on members 1 and 2 and 1 kN per meter on members 7 and 8. Finally, the basic load case sway intersection contains a joint load with intensity 10 kN in the x direction on node 2 and 3. Now all loads are defined, but before we can make a calculation, these basic load cases has to be combined to load cases. We will choose the option Load Cases. It shows a box where the previously defined basic load cases are listed with names B1 to B6. We will enter one load case for the ultimate limit state and one for the serviceability limit state. We begin with the UNS load case and enter first the name. We want to create a combination with a coefficient of 1.35 on dead load, so we specify 1.35 and click on B1, define 1.35 again and click on B2. Then we want coefficient 1.2 on the imposed load B3, 0 0.7 on the snow, 1.5 on the wind, and 1.0 on the sway interfectors. The limit state type is ULS. And if we want to, we could define it as an accidental load case. The last token dependent of only affects concrete structures. So we can ignore it in this example. It will be described in another movie. Then we Define a serviceability limit state load case. And then we want the coefficient 1 on all basic load cases. We define it as SLS. And for SLS load cases, we can also choose between short time and long time loading. This choice does not affect steel structures, why we do not have to consider it for this example. Something that should also be mentioned is that it's possible to store and then retrieve defined load cases into other examples so that these do not need to be recreated several times. This is done with the button Save and Load. Now is also the loading defined and the next step will be to calculate.